If you're looking for a neighborhood in Henderson, Nevada that combines luxury and scenery, then Seven Hills might be for you. Here are seven reasons to consider making the move to Seven Hills. At the end of this video, I'd love your feedback to know which part is your favorite and why you'd consider moving to Seven Hills. Reason number one, luxurious living. Seven Hills started in the early 2000s, and as you can see behind me, it's still going. People are still building homes in here, and there are still a few custom resale lots available. Seven Hills is a master plan community with over 1,300 acres, and it's comprised of over 3,000 homes. Homes range from townhomes all the way to large custom estates, and the price range is from anywhere from 300,000 all the way up to $32 million. Since Seven Hills started in the early 2000s, you're gonna see more Tuscan style homes, gorgeous European flavored homes. But as time's gone on, modern homes have become the scale of what people want. So Blue Heron has come in and built some gorgeous Blue Heron modern custom masterpieces. The last community to be developed here in Seven Hills is Marquee. Marquee is about 33 lots. 32 of those lots are Blue Heron homes and the other lot is still sitting pretty, nice and empty, ready for a custom home. Many people have taken their traditional style and their modern style and built within that as well. So you're gonna see a variety within Seven Hills. There are 25 sub-communities within Seven Hills, like I mentioned, but I'm just gonna highlight three of my favorites. We have Terracina, which is a guard-gated custom home area within Seven Hills. Homes sit on about a fourth of an acre to half an acre, and we have homes ranging from 3,000 square feet all the way up to 15,000 square feet. Within these 460 gorgeous custom homes, you're gonna see homes that highlight the Las Vegas Strip, the Rio Seco Golf Course, and the gorgeous mountain views. Another sub-community is Rapallo. This is also guard-gated and highlights the Seven Hills Parks as well as the Rio Seco Golf Course. Typical homes in this community range from 3,000 to 10,000 square feet. Many homes have gorgeous views and many people love this sub-community within Seven Hills. I already touched on this, but we also have Marquis Seven Hills, 33 home sites. This was a Blue Heron community, and many of the homes are Blue Heron, modern, absolutely gorgeous. Some of my favorite Blue Heron layouts and designs are found within this community. This community has a couple of strip view sites, a couple of golf course sites, but there aren't as many views within this little coven area. This area is not guard gated. It has a virtual guard gate, which is becoming more popular as time goes on. Stunning views and scenery. What's so unique about Seven Hills is you actually have these seven rolling hills, hence the name Seven Hills. We're about 24 to 2600 above sea level up here in Seven Hills. Terracina, one of my favorite sub-communities within Seven Hills I mentioned, has one of the earlier phases. So a lot of these lots have these gorgeous strip views. You don't get a lot of strip views throughout the valley unless you are in Henderson. And a lot of people discount Seven Hills. They think McDonald Highlands and Eskaya when they think of strip views. But if you go within Terracina, the guard-gated custom home community within Seven Hills, you're gonna see homes with these remarkable strip views. And it's because of the elevation here in Seven Hills. Now, if you don't care so much about strip views, AKA Las Vegas, that's our ocean. We also have these gorgeous Rio Seco golf course views, which are just absolutely gorgeous. And what I love about Seven Hills is you're not on the golf course, you are above the golf course. So the golf course sits in, which is really nice. You're not getting hit by golf balls. You're not hearing the early morning chatter of the golfers. And it just creates a nice green scenery that isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Another thing I enjoy is that you are within the mountain range. So you do have some gorgeous mountain views as well. And again, some of these homes are in the five to 700,000 range, and you're gonna get golf course views for that. I don't know anywhere else in the West Coast where you can get golf course potential strip views for that price range. Another thing I like to mention, this community has sidewalks throughout, so you can walk these hills, talk about a workout, and as you're walking, you get to enjoy these marvelous views. So even if you get a home that doesn't have as many views, because not every home site has remarkable views, you can walk this neighborhood and really soak in and enjoy the scenery. Quick question. On a scale of one to 10, how important are scenic views to you when it comes to finding a home? Comment below and let me know. Top rated schools. According to greatschools.org, Bob Miller Middle School, Coronado High School, and Elise Wolf Elementary School rank in the eight, nine, and 10 sometimes 
every single year. If you're looking for a community that offers a community vibe, great views, gorgeous homes, and a great location, you should definitely consider Seven Hills. Security and safety. Within the 25 neighborhoods, we have a mix of guard gated, punch gate, virtual gate, and no gate. But when you enter Seven Hills, you can really feel a sense of community and a sense of serenity and security. You're gonna see things like this. There's security cameras throughout the community. There's a roaming security guard. And with the guard gates and the gates, there's lots of action going on. So if there was something happening, there would be a lot of eyes on that. Something else to mention is Henderson is consistently ranked in the top five safest communities in the entire nation. Many people love the serenity and security of Henderson and especially Seven Hills. If we haven't met yet, my name is Courtney Bentley and I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Las Vegas. I provide a concierge service to take the headache out of relocating to my favorite city, Las Vegas. Now let's move on. Recreational activities. One third of Seven Hills is actually comprised of greenery and desert landscaping. So that's why this community is so coveted. When you drive around, you can feel the maturity. It feels very lush, it feels very homey. Another thing that's unique about this community is we have the Rio Seco Golf Course. And with that, we also have the Butch Harmon golf school which is very treasured people fly in from all over the world to attend this golf school this 18 hole golf course is a public golf course here within seven hills a lot of people love this golf course i personally have not golfed it yet but many of my friends who golf say it's one of the best in all of las vegas i think what people like most about this golf course is that you have views of the strips of the mountain you have gorgeous views throughout as you're golfing so it's such a treat you're not just golfing this gorgeous green course you're also seeing the strip, the mountains, the city, the whole nine yards. Behind me, we also have a 37,000 square foot clubhouse, which has a great restaurant called Janela's. They serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and they host tons of community events. Like I mentioned, this is a public golf course and many people in this community are a part of this whole thing. And they do a lot of activities within Seven Hills to bring people to golf. Located within the master plan of Seven Hills, we have four parks, Allegro Park, Puccini Park, Vivaldi Park, and Sonata Park. Right now I'm standing in the most scenic park, Vivaldi Park. What's so unique about this park is you have gorgeous mountain views, you can see the Raiders practice facility, and you can also see the Las Vegas Strip. Many people in this community enjoy the parks. It's Saturday, and as we're kind of driving around and filling in these different locations, we're seeing tons of people at the parks, connecting, communicating, and just having a good time. Which brings me to reason number six, community and lifestyle. Within Seven Hills Master Plan community, like I mentioned, there are tons of people at the park right now. It's a gorgeous day, it's nice and clear, and people make use of these parks. The other thing you note is they have recreational calendars where they have hiking trails. They invite people at a certain time to get together, do these hiking trails. They have picnics. They have different types of events like yoga and lots of community activities to connect the community within Seven Hills. I personally have moved many families to Seven Hills and oftentimes they not only move here, they move again. They buy something to kind of start out their journey, moving to Henderson, seeing if they like it, and then moving up into a home. I've also downsized families as well. A lot of times people just love this location. And that brings me to reason number seven, location. Before I get into how close some of the best parts of Las Vegas are to Seven Hills, I want to know what community amenities are important to you. Comment below and let me know. Just 10 minutes from Seven Hills, you have the district at Green Valley Ranch, an outdoor shopping mall with my favorite restaurant, Rachel's Kitchen. Echo and Rig just opened. And I heard that North Italia and Flower Child are putting locations within the district as well. You also have Green Valley Ranch, which is Stations Casino, more restaurants in there if you like to gamble, movie theater, all that fun stuff. You're also in close proximity to the world famous Las Vegas Strip, about 15 minutes. And if you're someone who likes to travel 12 minutes, you're at the Harry Reid International Airport and you are anywhere in the world. If you're someone who's really into local things, Eastern literally has anything and everything that one could need and Eastern is literally minutes away. You're really close to any type of grocery store that you're looking for. You're about 10 minutes from Whole Foods. You're about maybe five or six minutes from Vaughn's. You're just super close to any kind of daily necessities that you need. If you're really into local eateries, we also have tons of my favorite sushi restaurants. Actually, I have two and they're both off Eastern. And you also have the pasta shop, which is off Horizon 
ridge that has really great pasta. They actually make the pasta every single day, so it's homemade. And they also have I Love Sushi, like I mentioned, two of my favorite sushi restaurants right off of Eastern. So if you're someone who likes to be in the local kind of vibe, Seven Hills is a great location. Whether it's going to the world famous Las Vegas Strip, catching a concert, gambling, eating at a fine dining restaurant, or just going down to the local sushi joint, you got it all within reach. For more videos about relocating to Henderson, check out the videos above. If you're watching this on your TV, be sure to scan the QR code so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.